Now, and Round Rock is trying to decide how to get millions of dollars to work on projects that voters approved in May. A meeting today could help decide all this. The city wants to put money towards these projects before the bonds come through later on this year. Okay, Sands Dylan McKim joining us now to explain what is the city proposing at the city council meeting later tonight. Yeah, that resolution on tonight's agenda reads like this quote, consider a resolution expressing official intent to reimburse certain project expenditures for parks, roads, facilities and public safety. So what does that mean? Well, city spokesperson explained it like this quote, this resolution allows us to begin dedicating existing cash to fund projects to get them moving. Most are still in the design phase until we can get the bonds issued and quote. The work tonight will decide how to distribute $84 million toward projects over the next one to two years. For Proposition A, that money will be used to fund projects like the Rock and River expansion, the Sports Center expansion and the Old Settlers Park build out. There are also projects being funded by this under a public safety bond, Proposition B. That includes constructing a new fire station and phase two of the public safety training center. Now, a city spokesperson said a majority of the bonds will be general obligation bonds that were approved by voters in May, but a few of the projects will be funded by certificates of obligation.